Alright squad, welcome back to another H.I.O. free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Re Reverie, which is supposed to be a visual novel game with horror elements. Apparently we were, were locked in the attic or something and we can't get out. This is a demo, by the way. This isn't the full game. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to try it for yourself slash support the creator. Home. The safest place of all, isn't it? Yes, this is a message for you people during this time. Well, maybe it is, or maybe not. Oh, wait. But one thing is certain. Home is where your memories linger. Where'd the music go? Your deepest memories. Be them happy memories or sad memories. That doesn't matter. They all stay here. Hidden in the shadows, perhaps. Uh-oh. Quick save! Oh, God, it faded out. Quick save! There you go. You open your eyes. The morning soft colors linger from the window. Oh, that's the fancy colors with the U. A small apartment with an upper floor. You, you don't recognize it. Or you do recognize it, but something is different. It's going to heaven or something. It's not, like, leaning on anything. <laughs> Missing, maybe. Or perhaps there are things that there weren't before. But there is something in there. Something that attracts you, that calls you. Is it the door? The computer? Or something else? I don't know, man. You tell me. Okay, what do I do now? Oh, I can click on things. There we go. She looks concerned. Water the plants, buy food, no instant ramen. What? You sit at your de- <laughs> I attacked. You sit at your desk and discover that the PC has already turned on. On the screen, there's a young girl. You're awake. Psych! Sorry, but who are you? Guess your memory still isn't alright, huh? Well, anyway, my name is Sophia. I'm your best friend. False! I'm here to help you. Help? Yes, of course. We know each other very well, but you've lost your memory, so... Yeah, I don't remember. Don't worry. Like I said, I'm here to help. First of all, as you already know, this is your computer. By interacting with it, you'll be able to talk to me. Now, s second, have you already tried opening the door? No. Well, it doesn't matter since it's closed. Okay! <laughs> In all sincerity, I don't really know how to open it. But it seems to be related to that icon on the screen. Which one? Oh, she got happy all of a sudden. It changes in relation to your mood. And when it does, I guess you should try to check the door. Check on the door. Last time you did, something strange happened. I never checked on the door. Something strange. Don't worry, there's nothing dangerous out there. Not that I know of, at least. Well, how to explain it? The last time you managed to get out, but I haven't seen you in, for a long time. For a lot of time after that. And here you are now, without memory as before, as well as before. Were you here all this time? Yes, since before you lost your memory. In fact, I waited for some days, but you're here now, so that's the important thing, right? isn't it? In any case, why don't you try to open the door? I think it should be alright by now. Oh, and I have some kind of request? Hit me with it. When you come back, could you tell me how it was? Uh, I will. Thanks, go now. All right. Talk me into it. Is that me? Am I in this pillow of fluff? And the door says, get fucked, son. Ah, look at that. I'm reading a newspaper. There is a small and feeble garden ahead of you. Okay, interesting, interesting. A big tree casts its leaves towards the sky and all the colors are pale, as if you're in a, you are in a dream. The wind blows softly, caressing your skin. It's a cold breeze, yet tender. In the middle of the garden, there is a man sat on an old chair. He gives you his back, so you can't see his face, yet it reminds you of something. A memory that you thought was gone is silently appearing in front of you as a pale shadow. You don't know how, but you understand he's smiling even though you can't see it. 
He doesn't talk and not even and not even move. Yet there's a deep feeling of calmness that comes with the memory zone. Uh oh. He murdered me, or I murdered him after he got done reading his newspaper. Memories. Do you remember who you are or where you come from? Even the apartment where you live seems to be blurring away from your memories. But don't worry, I'm here with you to help you. Or even guide you, we would say. You've seen a glimpse of memories, didn't you? Who was talking to me? Were them yours? <laughs> were them yours? <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> or someone else's. You're doubting, aren't you? That's good, because doubt is the only certainty someone could obtain in this world. The alcohol. Oof. Waking up, you feel a bittersweet sensation in your heart. It flows through your whole body towards your mind. It's a melancholic feeling, as if you've just seen an old friend whom you forgot. Austin time, he's now nothing more than a pale figure in your head. The door is silently waiting for you to be ready. I'm ready. Take me. I can't get outside, it's tightly closed. Can we go upstairs? Oh, we can! You can't sleep now. There are things to do. False. The, this guitar, as you watch it, you remember playing it sometimes. But how much time has passed since then? Save. Even after all this time, you can't understand why. Maybe you're still connected with the, uh, with the person who gave it to you. What? This? You're unable to toss away. Okay, gotcha. Still no one but yourself. Is it a pleasant view? I guess. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. There's nothing up here. There's a French movie on TV. A young boy is running through an empty street at night. A song by David Bowie is playing in the background. It seems very interesting. I like David Bowie. The dust never disappears from this phone, huh? It's because you never dust it, dog. The leaf screen is brilliant, yet there seems to be some dust on them. A library filled with books, now that you pay more attention to it, you realize there are plenty of books about art. Was I an artiste? The weather doesn't seem very nice. Alright, I'm back. You're back. You're finally back. Where were you? I got out of the door. <clears throat> really? That... It's just incredible. And tell me, how did it go? I saw a strange man in a garden. That sounds very interesting. I think that was a piece of your memories. Unfortunately, I don't know how much about it. How did that make... That makes you feel? Uh, it was sad. Oh, I see. Maybe it's not a very happy memory. Or maybe it's somehow painful to remember it. Anyway, I have something important to tell you. Last time I forgot to tell you about your room. Maybe you noticed that there are plenty of interesting things, right? But anyway, the thing is that they might be useful to keep you busy. You know, they say that distractions sometimes make us happier and somehow. I think it's because by distracting ourselves we focus less on what's painful. Or what troubles us anyways. But it's true that not all distractions can make us happier, isn't it? So, be careful with your mood out here, out there. Okay, thanks for your help. Very well. I hope it's all clear. See you later then. See ya! Empty the bin. Yay, I feel better with myself. Alright, we can go back out the door for more memories. Ah, it's the same memory. The hell? When we first met, our hands were cold. The wind blew gently on the forest, silence all around, and a smile of happiness on my face. You look at the mysterious man in front of you. He just finished reading a passage from the book he's holding. Do you, uh, do you remember this poem? It brings back so many memories. Yet, you don't seem to recall any of them. 
That makes me sad. So sad. This place. You ring some bell? It does, right? But I guess you still aren't ready. Memories can't come back in a second, you know. Take it easy, rest some more. We'll see each other again soon. You feel a tear falling slowly. It's, it's warmth melts the ice that has frozen your heart. It's strange, but you feel as if an image is appearing in your mind. But still faded as the scene that slowly disappears. You're now ready to go back to your room, aren't you? Well, I'm afraid things aren't not so simple. You see, each one of us tries to hide something anyway. Some kind of pain we want to lose. Painful feelings, memories, or even both of them. After all, pain, feelings, and memories are strictly connected. And it's clear to me that you can't obtain your memories back because someone, something blocks them. A rather painful event or a dark memory, a sad one. But... It seems you're not listening to what I'm saying. Not carefully, at least. Maybe it's something about me. I don't know. Maybe my voice or something like that. Or maybe... Are you getting bored, perhaps? Uh... What? Oh, come on. I'm just playing with you a little. Can't I? After all, that's why you, you were here, right? Let's make a ex little experiment, shall we? Now that you have any kind- not that you have any kind of choice, of course. I could close the game, dog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You do it or you just go away. That's all. That's two choices. But anyway, there's a woman in your life. You've known her for so- you've known her for so much time. Yet, you remember nothing about her now. She said she'll help you no matter what. And she said that with a strong and sincere smile on her face. But what about you? What do you think? Do you trust her? Sure. To trust her, or not? Nice question, huh? One that a narrator should never do. Why? As it's true that narrators should never interfere with the story or the characters, but something about you moved me. Your dreams, your memories seem to be so sad. And sad memories are the sweetest ones, the dearest ones. And it seems you're a rather simple and sincere person. That's really something, at least for now. Well, now I think it's time for you to get back, okay? Please enjoy yourself some more in your room. All right. The narrator likes me. They really like me. Where'd those shoes come from? Oh, I should be reading that. The light coming through the window is weak and paints everything in deep blue shadows. How beautiful you think to see such beauty in front of you. You're not afraid, not even though what you just experienced. You're starting to get used to this feeling. The strange sensation of sadness and longing, which you can't, still can't completely understand. You look closely at it. There are a lot of albums of a band named Tool. Interesting. Someone's a Tool fan. Maybe you could call someone, but there really isn't anyone to call. I can't get outside, it's tightly closed. I was clicking that. Oh, the lights came on. Oh, we're under attack. Oh, it's a Pikachu. Best Pokemon, but might be wrong. Bulbasaur's the best Pokemon. You're finally back. Where were you? I got out of the door. <clears throat> really? <laughs> that, that, that is just incredible. And tell me, how did it go? The same thing. That sounds very interesting. I think that was a place of your memories. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it. How did that make you feel? The same thing. It was sad. Oh, I see. Maybe it's not a very happy memory. Why are we getting the same options? Yeah, that's the same thing. Confused. Are we in a loop? Maybe I have to click different options this time. You're now ready to go back to your room, aren't you? Well, I'm afraid things are not so simple. You see, each one of us tries to hide something away. Some kind of pain we want to lose. Painful memories. After all, pain, feelings, and memories are strictly connected. And it's clear to me that you can't obtain your memories back because something blocks them. 
a rather painful event or a dark memory? A sad one. But, uh, I haven't read this before. Why do you keep giving me the same thing? Yes. Same. You're giving me the same options. Stop it. Okay, this might be different. You calmly sit at your desk. The computer is already turned on, as always. Sophia is sitting there. She hasn't abandoned you, and she waits, smiling gently. Welcome back again. Oh, that's it. Well, it was interesting. I don't know too much about it still. And the, it has quite a few like grammar mistakes, but I'm sure that will get fixed whenever it releases. But... Um, that was, uh, I don't know. I feel like I didn't get anything answered at all. Except that I'm in a room, and there's a stranger that I keep meeting in a garden. That knows me somehow. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Dilmo's of visual novels, because it kind of just doesn't explain anything, because it removed the whole point of playing the actual game. But yeah, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Bye!